could fit the whole of Europe into it with room to spare. From east to west, it's further than from London to Istanbul. And it's just as big from north to south. Let me take you on a journey of a lifetime. And what better way to travel but on the back of this majestic elephant. We start our journey in the heart of India's finest tiger country. This is the true land of Kipling's Jungle Book. And the tiger still prowls these superb forests. India was old long before Kipling's time. Her first people lived in a land full of wildlife and they wove it into the very fabric of their lives. From the humid heart of India, we travel west to the dry deserts of Gujarat and Rajasthan. Sun-scorched grasslands leap with black buck. And the shimmering salt pans of the Ran of Kutch echo to the thundering hooves of wild ass. From the hot desert, we move north to the cold desert of the Himalayas. You'd think nothing could live in the frozen embrace of these high peaks, but you'd be wrong. We'll saw with the Lamagir the full length of this great range of mountains. These icy citadels are home to the Tar and Ibex. Snowcock. And that ultimate symbol of the high snows, the snow leopard. Himalayan peoples long ago learnt respect for the nature of their mountain home. These mountains of the gods give birth to India's most sacred rivers. From its glacial beginnings, we'll follow the Ganges to the sea. attract waterfowl by the million and they are alive with fish, food for both animals and people. Lush swamps along the river heave with life. Among it, some of the world's largest and rarest animals. Here too we find the tiger. The biggest tigers of all stalk this watery home of wild buffalo, rhino and barasinga. Rivers flow to the ocean, an ocean full of surprises. See, our largest land animal seems at home. We'll 
ride the ocean currents south to the coral reefs of the Lakshadweep, then east to the remote and mysterious Andamans. And so to journey's end, the wet forests of southern India, Assam and Sri Lanka. A hidden secret world of creatures, small and large. This is the haunt of silent-footed leopard and deadly snake. But wherever they live, all these animals have a desperate struggle for space. 